Hi guys, Karen here with another La Crusade video. Welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for watching. I have my handy dandy assistant today. I am not your assistant. <laughs> <laughs> my name is on the billboard too. <laughs> it's Karen and Maya. I needed some help with this video. This video is done by request. Um, by the way, if you're new here, welcome! And um, currently we have that giveaway going um, on. Uh, you're going to like last week's video if you want to enter that. You're going to go over to last week's video. Um, it's about the saucepans. You're going to subscribe, comment, and like that video. That's the wrong order. Okay, that's the wrong order. Sorry. You're going you to... Subscri subscribe, like, and then you're going to comment. Okay, okay. Same. Anyway, so this video is done by request um, of a couple of people. So this is a overview of my collection. I say overview because we couldn't fit everything on the table. Um, yeah, so we'll start with the, some of the things that could not fit on the table. So we're going to zoom in here. On the bowls, I have two of these say bowls and two of these wide bowls. The uh, the uh, both of them are in use. One is in use holding broccoli and everything, and then the other one is in use holding fruits in the kitchen. It's a fruit bowl. They both are. Um, uh, and then, so we're going to take you over each piece. Um, I kind of need help with it in order to jog my memory. I'm going to make sure, try to make sure that I don't keep you guys forever with this. But, you know, this is an overview. The other thing I want to say is, um, uh, Maya can back me up on this. We use every single piece. And I'm going to try and start with... A unique one. In its own unique way. We don't try so, to use every piece in one day. No, Just not every that. piece is not used in one day. <laughs> but for the most part, everything is in rotation. I don't like to purchase items that are just going to be sitting on the shelf staring at us. I'll start with our um, oldest piece over here. This is an old round Dutch oven that I purchased at an estate sale for $25. It is now our designated, um, because it has some chips and things in it, it's now our designated potpourri pot. So we use it for water potpourri and anytime I'm trying to make something um, like potpourri base, this is what that is for at this point in time. Um, okay, where do we go next? So let's start up here with the small. Um, we have an order in which you bought it. I don't remember I do. anymore. Um, okay, so up here, I think it was last year, during the factory to table sale, I bought the, um, what are these called? Oh my goodness. You know, funnily enough, you could learn which ones you bought in which order with your videos. Oh my goodness, yeah. That sense, okay, right? so I, we bought these. Um, I really like them as much as it's hard to leave. These are in high rotation. Um, they keep everything off the counter. They do really well. Um, they're colorful, they're beautiful, and so just sitting there, even if they're just sitting there, they're really nice. They're also heavy but lightweight. They're, yeah, they're made out of cast iron as well. Um, and when the factory to table sale was on, I believe that they were about $60 a piece. So it's a really good bang for your buck, and it really does protect your surfaces. Um, I still have to remember the name of them, but that's okay. I will leave it in the I will leave it on the screen for you guys. <laughs> Up next, we have the Le Creuset sharpener. This was $15 or around $16, the knife sharpener. Guys, it may have been a little price, but this has come in a clutch. Um, if you ever see this again, you gotta get it, okay? If you if you like your knives and you know you don't have, I mean, and you don't you're not ready to invest in a new knife set, get a knife sharpener. And this this was the best per, one of the best purchases ever. It really does work. It's you know it, it's really giving. So I'm really pleased with it. Um, we have our pie plates. Uh, I'm not a big fan, as Maya can tell you, I'm not a huge fan of the bacon dishes, um, simply because, have very many uh, yeah, I just don't have a whole lot because 
you have to oil them up good, good, I've good. I've been working on her though. It's my work. Yeah, she's working trying to get me to buy some of the Heritage Collection, but oh, yeah. the thing that we do make in it is um, cheesecakes, and um, I think mm -hmm. Mom makes uh, sweet potato bread in. I make a lot of bread in them. I use them for that because the bread can just slide out when it's done. Um, I don't use it a lot for baking, except for a cheesecake, but then you got to get it out. You have to make sure it's really, really oiled. Um, or you can use parchment paper, that's right. Um, we have the two side, the, the, the double butter dish. It's self-explanatory. It's cute, it's nice, it's in the color flame. We have the four mugs. I didn't put all four out, much to Maya's um, ire. We don't have only one mug. <laughs> we don't have only one mug. We have the Demi Tea Kettle um, here, and it's it's good. Would I purchase another La Crusade Tea Kettle? <sighs> Maybe not the Demi, but another. Mm -hmm. um, um, it was a nice purchase. It's cute. That's what I'll say. It's cute. It's cute. It still works. It just doesn't whistle. It, but that's it's 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 okay. I'm gonna just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have the. I got this at an estate sale as well. This is part of the heritage collection. This I think is one of the smallest things. I got it for twelve dollars. So Wait, it's here. That one before that one. No. Oh, yeah. Um. Then over here we have the griddle. I mean the grill. And you guys see me use it in videos, so this is really good if you are on the fence about purchasing one. I think it comes in handy, especially when you're not able to use your grill outside. You can do some grilling inside. So I think that's, and most of the time, the, the grill pans are almost always on sale. That and the griddle are almost always on sale. We got these little uh, bowls um, for supposedly free but you basically pay for them. <laughs> I think I spent $250 to get these, so what were you um, I think it came with this. Right. Yeah, yes, I think so. Cause so it wasn't free. <laughs> you pay for them. So here we have the soup pot. Um, I would like to get another soup pot. I Well, for a while there, I wanted to get another soup pot until I bought the round wide Dutch oven over there. So that that uh, this is the seven and a half uh, uh, quart uh, chef's oven, and if you haven't gotten that, that's still on sale for three hundred dollars. Great, great buy. You can use it in a myriad of ways. Um, over here, we're just going to jump wait, for the soup pot. It is the I like to say it's the child between the brazier and the Dutch oven. Like, it can do things that oven does, and it can do things the brazier is, but it's taller. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other thing is, here are the two essential ovens, the sartus. Sa sa I'm not sure when that's going to come back. Um, if you're in a country where they still have those available, give us a shout out in the comments below. But the, when I bought those, they were both $180 each. Right now, they are not in stock. But the price has gone up a little bit over $300 for each one. We have, well, I'll wait till I get over there. Um, so now we're going to enter into Brazer Row over here. So we have Cool Mint. Um, I forgot what this one is. Uh, this is pink, a chiffon pink. Um, so we're over here. This is Cool Mint, Artichoke, and Chambray. I'm pretty sure so, this is correct. No, this is Cool Mint. Um, cool Mint, three and a half quarts. Uh, artichoke, three and a half quarts. And this is Chambray, five quarts. Um, I am a Brazer oh, fan. Sure. Yeah, I am a Brazer fan. So you're not gonna, if, you, if you're looking to invest in, look you're saying it's your first item, start with the Brazer. Actually, no, you should actually start with the Dutch oven, yeah. but then quickly behind that, get yourself a three and a half quart Brazer. Even if you, even if it's just two people in your home, even if it's just you, the three and a half quart Brazer will save you some money um, to the point where you don't have to um, go back. If you buy the smaller uh, Brazer, you will eventually have to size up. So this will just save you the sizing up. And if you have more than three people or three or more, just go ahead and get the five quart. It'll save you some money as well. 
think but, the um, order was this one, that one, and that one. As a, yeah. I went half and half. Yeah. Half. Yeah. So we're going around the table, going around the table. Okay, so we have a skillet here. Um, and we have the, this is one of our newest additions. This is the six and three fourths quart round wide Dutch oven. Great. Yeah, I think it's, no, uh, the saucepan is the newest. This is really great. You know, this is really great. This is the color Cerise. If you haven't gotten it, it's on sale, guys. Go ahead and get it. Most of the items that we have, most of the items here that you see, I purchased on sale. I don't like to, to buy at full price if I don't have to. I think I bought this full price, but even then, at the time I bought the five quart brazier, it was 368. Now that's the price of the three and a half quart. So now this is over $400 for the five quart. Um, so, you know, if you're interested in purchasing it and you have your coins, go ahead and purchase the items that you want because please note, there will be a, fo a follow up video soon of the price increases that will likely come soon after uh, the factory to table sale and Black Friday. Most of the time they leave it, uh, they leave all of the prices and sales in place, um, you know, till Black Friday and Christmas and you get all of those benefits. So take advantage, you still have a couple of months if they don't, you know, raise the price. But so far in the last couple of years, they tend to leave the prices as they are and the sale items as they are until the new year and then the price goes up. But I will have a video about the upcoming price increases. I have a question for you. Okay. Also for the viewers that might want to know. Do you have a preference on tops? Because you have like... Oh, so sometimes... Multitude of different ones. Oh, the, the lids? You yeah. I mean the, the, the handles. handles. Um, no, that's what comes in the, in the box. Uh, sometimes um, if you're in the store, um, like at Williams-Sonoma, <coughs> Maya works at Williams to know. <laughs> Sometimes they will offer you a different lid if you, I mean, a different knob if you, um, if, if, you know, if you know them. But other than that, um, no, I, that's the lid that came, the knob that came with it. So we have the Balti dish here. We have the Paella dish here and we have it in a black satin enamel coating. Um, from what I understand from everyone and what I've learned, the black satin enamel coating can take higher heat. So if you're looking for something that, um, you know, can go at higher temperatures and maintain, they all can withstand high temperatures. But one thing about the black satin coating is you're not worried so much about stains and in all the rest of that. And it does maintain a higher heat. Um, of course, everybody needs a stock pot and there- You missed the skillet. Oh, this is the little skillet. It's nine inches. It's in the color Cerise. Um, and this is the lighter, this is the light coated enamel coating and it's a skillet. It's just smaller. It's smaller, but I have found out that La Crusade does have a deep, uh, skillet just like the stove. Um, just check out Williams Sonoma for that. If they have any on any more in, in stock. Cause I did see some when I went into the store to bother Maya that time. Um, they have the, <laughs> they have, we have some plates. Self-explanatory, bought them at a factory to table sale. Um, like I said, everybody needs a stock pot. This is the 10 quart. It works well for me. It's just the right size. Don't need too much room. Um, obviously these did not come with this, but these <laughs> did. <laughs> and yeah, this is, it's what I use it for. Um, the utensil holder. This is, a, this was a birthday gift from my mom. And um, I'm thankful to you guys because y'all helped me to know that it was the, that deep Dutch oven, the um, five and two quarts or yeah, somewhere around there. And so that's what that is. So when this, when I got this, I was so confused between the two, but these are the same thing. They are the deep Dutch oven and um, yeah, and I have two of them. Cool. Here we have the French oven there in two and a half quarts. I used to use that for rice all the time, but I use the paella pan, and uh, now I use that to steam veggies. Our newest addition, excuse me, our newest addition is the um, two and th two and one fourth quart saucepan. Here we have the 
a one and three fourths saucepan here. Um, great addition. So far, this is where we're at. Take you all around. And this is our collection. We use, like I said, we use everything. And I mean everything, even down to these. <laughs> They're great for yogurt. I know um, like in one week we will have used, like, we are some that we use most often. Yeah. I think the soup pot gets a lot of use. The mm -hmm. little... And the round wide Dutch oven gets a lot of use. Yeah. Um, um, you guys see the, uh, what's this the saucepans in in my videos a lot a lot yeah um, the knife sharpener gets used quite often um, these get used every day yes they do um, um and um we use a lot yeah um i'm just looking around like what don't we use <laughs> the only, the, there are some differences in the collection though the only ones that are stainless steel um, in the inside are the demi tea kettle and the stock pot yeah everything else is cast iron everything else is cast iron except for the uh, baking dishes. Yeah, um, those are ceramic. Yeah. But other than that guys, let me know what you think in the comments below um, Let me know what your collection looks like uh, Let me know if you're beginning your collection if you're in the middle of building your connect collection Oh, and what color it is and what color your collection is did you go multicolored like I did mm -hmm. or do you have a, Like two specific colors that you stick with but let us know in the comments below. I hope you guys found this video helpful and we will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Wait, your hands are. Bye. <laughs>